Hey everybody, my name's Insane in the Rain Music. Real name is Carlos Ini. I'm known for creating video game jazz arrangements on YouTube. So for someone on YouTube who might be making a cover song that's just a singer and guitar, that's really easy. But I play all, <laughs> all the instruments. So that means I have to be a bit more meticulous with how I put things together. For me, that usually means writing out the whole arrangement in sheet music first. So I have a good guide for what my future self is gonna be doing. And then I just go part by part. Usually I'll start with whatever the lead instrument is, sometimes saxophone, clarinet, flute something like that. Then I record that in my computer along to a click track, which helps me synchronize all the recordings between all the parts. And then I just go one instrument at a time. Maybe the next thing is the bass part. Then after that, I'll record the piano part on top of that. Then I'll record the drums part on top of that. And then once everything that I wrote in the arrangement is recorded, the, the whole song is done. Before I was making YouTube covers, I was actually a middle schooler who was teaching people how to do Minecraft 3D animations. Now, if you can imagine that, very tinny, middle school, pubescent boy's voice trying to teach you how to use animation software. It's probably not that hard to imagine why nobody watched those videos. <laughs> but while I was making those, I happened to stumble across a community of people online who were taking video game music and just performing it on their instruments. And I saw this, and being a fan of music and being a fan of video games, I realized, wow, this is the intersection of these two things that I enjoy so much. I decided to get my feet wet with it. I think the first ever cover I did was me playing Happy Birthday in the style of the Legend of Zelda theme because it was my friend's birthday and I wanted to upload a video for them. uploaded that video and then realized that, hmm, maybe I should make a new channel that doesn't have this history of Minecraft animations on it. So then I, I made Insane in the Rain music, which is specifically for music. And that's the current channel that I'm known for today. A lot of people have a conception that video game music is just bleeps and bloops and that it's really simple. I've had to explain this numerous times that that is not the case and that some games these days are being recorded by full orchestras and the music is incredibly complex. But if you go back to like the, the origins of game music with consoles like the, the NES or like the Atari, most often the music was produced on systems with inherent limitations, such as having a limited number of voices that could be played at the same time. That forced composers to write music with strong melodies. And that's just part of the fun of arranging video game music is taking songs that were originally produced on systems with limitations 
and producing it in, in one of my, my own ways. I have dreamed about being able to score a game using the kind of music that I love, which is jazz. Being able to, to score a game and have my music be in there, it would be my biggest contribution I think I could make to the video game music songbook.